a lot of guitars. I'm here with Keith Nelson, uh, Buck Cherry, and uh, we're gonna do a quick gear tour. With him. Hey, it's Keith from Buck Cherry. I want to take you through some of my gear, but the most important piece of my gear is my guitar tech, Kevin Breyers. <laughs> I don't know about that, but thank you. Uh, Kevin really makes sure everything is clean, in tune, running perfect. The best guy on the planet. No, you can't hire him away from me. All right. Uh, the, the main, my main guitar every night is uh, this is a 59 reissue Les Paul from the custom shop. Affectionately called Dwayne because it's very reminiscent of Dwayne Allman's Sunburst Les Paul. So this one tuned in standard tuning. That's a 490 T's in there or the classic 57? Those are uh, WCR uh, Godwood pickups. Cool. Um, this is my black ES355. We call this one Rerun because it's big and black. This is a yes. pretty recent acquisition. This is called a, uh, this is a Duesenberg. Uh, and I use this guitar on Sorry. It's got uh, a wraparound tailpiece and a single P90. And uh, so I use this on Sorry every night. This is uh, a guitar built by Bill Nash and myself in his shop in uh, Olympia, Washington. And this one's affectionately called Jenny because their serial number is 8675309. Very cool. What's um, the story behind the, uh, the seven? The seven is my lucky number. Cool. My lucky number as well. And uh, just collect some stickers along the way. It's been pretty hammered up. And uh, I've had a couple of meet and greets where we've had some uh, really young kids come in. They're fans of the band. I always get them to sign my guitar. That's very cool. So man. it's a fun guitar. Very cool. I noticed a lot of the tellies that you play live, uh, they've got a humbucker in the neck. That's pretty common with you? Yeah, pretty common with me. I, I kind of prefer that sound. Uh, this is my, uh, I had somebody build me a replica of Keith Richards' guitar. Um, and since they built that guitar, I actually switched the bridge out to a, a, a Callahan bridge. But it's basically an ash-bodied Telecaster that I've just beat the hell out of. Very nice. Um, and that has a, a WCR pickup in there as well. One graph tech saddle. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> I like to mix it up. I like to get two brass saddles there and either a steel or something else there. And we listen to all the different saddles and this one's kind of sounded the best there. Right, this will give you a little bit more highs in the, uh, in the low end. Exactly. Yeah. We're traveling right now with what, 16 guitars? Yeah, about that. We're traveling, but uh, these are the, I try to get it down to eight every night. Just kind of pick. This is uh, a guitar that was handmade for me by the guys at the Zomitis Custom Shop in uh, Osaka, Japan. Very and cool. um, so they, they uh, made this guitar for me and then Danny O'Brien actually did the engraving on it for me. Beautiful. So, and then the last guitar that you're gonna see today is, this is the prototype for my signature model from Zomitis. And basically what we've got going on here is uh, three pickups, three humbucking sized pickups it originally had three single coil pickups, but I was just kind of missing something out of the bridge. So we went with a WCR a Cherry Bucker in the, in, the, in the bridge position. It's a pickup that uh, I had in mind, especially for Stevie and I, and so we called it the Cherry Bucker. And then I had him do some custom engraving on it with the Mermaid, the Roses, and then the World is Yours. Awesome, man. And uh, it's got a master volume, a master tone, and then the middle pickup is on its own volume control, so you can turn the middle pickup on regardless of where your toggle switch is. And so that would be bridge pickup, bridge and neck, neck there. That's similar to the way the, uh, the original SG Custom Les Paul was set up. Yes, kind of kind of like that, yeah. Very, very cool, man. So that's it. Very, very cool. Those are uh, some of the guitars that we have on the road now. What do you got running in your, uh, in your two racks here? I see some, uh, is that a reissue jam, P, or...? There's a uh, reissue 50 watt plexi. Okay. Uh, Germino, um, uh, what are they, lead 55, which is like a 50 watt plexi, and uh, Germino Monterey, which is basically, if I'm not mistaken, it's a it's a reproduction of like a 1966 Marshall, uh, primarily the bass circuit. And it's very. Um, very much what you would have seen Jimi Hendrix play. The reason it's called the Monterey is because that's what Hendrix played at, um, at, Mon at the Monterey Pop Festival. Ger if you go to germino.com, Greg's a 
incredible amp builder. I'm not a paid spokesman. I actually buy my amps. He doesn't give them to me. Um, I really love what he does. He is one of the few guys that really gets the Marshall thing right. Yeah, so, cool. and he makes each one of them by hand. So it's it's rad. And then all the all the effects go through. All the effects live in a in a drawer. And uh, finally, after many years of stomp boxes, we're using the MIDI controller. I have one of these out front as well, and it kind of controls everything. And when Kevin isn't too drunk or too high, he remembers to switch my effects on for me. It's awesome. I don't get high. Do you mind if we take a peek at what you got in there? Or no, I, there, there's no secret to the sound. The sound is really in uh, these, th these delays run in stereo. The Roto Sim runs in stereo. The, uh, does the chorus run in stereo? Uh, that's, that's mono. Uh, the chorus runs in mono mono um that's a keely modded um super overdrive the best overdrive pedal i've ever used if you go to keely uh pedals and they have them there so that's kind of really all the effects that we're using there's a wah wah on the board out there uh the jx44 is how all the amps are combined and split and and all the other stuff and that's kind of it awesome and always i always recommend good power to uh you know, if you got a little plastic uh, power strip that you got at Office Depot, it's not going to cut it. Keith, thank you so much. You man. got it, man. Really, thank really you. I really appreciate it.